Today we're going to show you how to place a bet on a horse race. This CD will show you how to bet the races. It's not going to show you a system on how to win. There are many of them out there and some of them are pretty good, some are not. Some tip sheets are sold at the racetrack. This will show you what picks they think will win. This will show you how much to bet. One of the most often made mistakes in betting more money than you can afford to lose. The odds that horse racing is high against you, so pick an amount you feel okay with losing. You can get excited about a horse race over a $2 bet just like you can for a $100 bet. Which bets to make? If you're new to horse racing, stay with the win, place, or show bets. The show bet's the easiest one to win. That means if your horse comes in first, second, or third, you'll get paid. If you want to bet the exotic bets, remember the more horses you have to pick to win, the higher the odds are you will not win. So stay with Exacta or Quinella when you bet to start off with. Here's a little history on horse racing. Horse racing is one of the oldest sports around. In the early days, it was a sport for kings and nobility. You may have heard the phrase, the sport of kings. Waging on a horse race was not started till sometime around the 1700s. Today, horse racing is a large sport in the U.S. Many, many states have it. To make a bet, you must be of legal age in the state you're making the bet in. Betting on a horse race can be simple as betting to win or as involved as betting the finishing order of the first four horses in a race, it's however you want to do it. This guide will show you how to bet on thoroughbred horse racing. Okay, there's different types of races out there. There's stake races. This is the top of the line. This is the better horses around. A little bit next race down is called handicap. They add weight to horses to kind of handicap them, make them even out. Allowance races is the next step down. Then maiden races and then claiming races. Now we'll go through these and show you how they work. First one is stake races. This is the top of the line horses, the elite. This race is the best horses and they have the higher purses to win. There are races like the Kentucky Derby, the Belmont Stakes, and many others. The horse owner must put up a fee. This is combined with a prize pot put up by the racetrack to make the purse. Handicap races. This is one step down from the stake races. The race, in this kind of race, they're required to carry additional weight set by the official handicapper. To handicap a horse, they try to equal them out to each other. The better horses carry a little bit more weight than the lower horses like that. And they list the weight the horses are carrying in the program. Sometimes an owner will scratch a horse because he doesn't want him to carry that much weight. Allowance races are the next step down from handicaps. These horses and purses are still good, but they're not quite the better horses like the stakes races. In allowance races, they're assigned a category based on a few different things. The age of a horse, number of wins, number of races run, total money won like that. For an example, if a horse that has not won all year, he may carry 114 pounds. If a horse has not won in six months, he may carry as much as 117 pounds. If the horse has won in six months, he may carry 120. So they, they, they kind of put weight on to even them out. Maiden races. These are restricted to horses that have never won a race. You may see a horse in a maiden race, but he hasn't won yet. When he does, he'll move up to the next class. Maiden claiming races, for instance. These are horses that have never won, but they can be claimed before a race starts. Maiden special weight races. These races are for horses that show promise, like a young horse that hasn't won yet. Usually they're restricted to certain sex or age limit. This is usually the beginning of a career for a horse. Claiming races are what you'll find at most of the racetracks. These horses can be claimed or bought before the race starts, provided you have an owner's license. Claiming races are usually the lowest rank of horses. The claiming price is listed in the title of the race. As an example, $10,000 claiming race means the horse can be claimed for $10,000 before the race starts and it's yours after the race is over. 
Claiming races have many different categories of races based on the amount of the claiming price. The larger the amount, the better the horses. And of course, the lower the amount, the not so good horses. Sometimes the horse can be bought in a lower claiming race and moved up an amount to the next higher claiming race because the owner thinks it's a little better than the rest of those horses. Sometimes they'll move them down if they're not doing very good though. There's a lot of different types of bets, straight bets and exotic bets. On your straight bets, you got win, place, show ticket. That's first, second, third. On your exotic bets, daily doubles, pick three, pick four, pick six, exactas, quinellas, trifectas, twin trifectas, superfecta, and we'll show you how these work. The win ticket. That's just exactly what it says. You're betting the horse will come in first and first only. When you buy the ticket, say the number of the race, the dollar amount, win, number of the horse. Example, for race number two, say $10 amount to win horse number three. That's race two, $10 win horse three. If the horse comes in any place other than first, you lose. The odds on the horse race for the win ticket, say, are two to one, you'll win $30. Here's how it works. You get two times your bet, $10 bet, plus you get your $10 bet back because it won. Place bets. You're betting the horse will come in at least second. First or second, either one will pay you in this one. You want to say it as race number two, $10 amount, place second, like that. You would say race two, $10 place, horse three. Place bets are based on odds to win or play, so it's not the same as the odds on a win ticket. The horse comes in first or second, you win money. A show ticket. You're betting on the horse to come in at least third. If he comes in first, second, or third, you'll win some money. When you buy the ticket, you want to tell them the race number, the dollar amount, show, the horse number, and all that. As an example, say race two, $10 show, horse three. That way you'll get the correct ticket. Show bet is based on the odds to win, but you don't get the same amount as the win ticket because the odds are based on the win. But if it comes in first, second, or third, you'll get some money back. Daily double. This is a real popular bet. You have to pick the winning horse of two different races. They'll tell you which race is the daily double. Usually it's the first and second race of the day. To make the bet, on it, you'll say for a $2 daily double on horse two in the first race, horse three in the second race, how you'll say it is $2 daily double, horse two, and horse three. After the first race, the tote board will show you how much the, each horse is worth paired up with the horse that won the first race. So you'll know how much you can win if you got the winner of the first race. Pick three, pick four, pick six bet. This is where you have to pick the winner of three consecutive races or four or six races. If it's six, pick six, it's usually the last six races of the day. Okay, what you're going to say is, when you walk up to the window, you want to say $10, pick three, horse three, four, five. That's telling him horse three in the one race, four in the next, five in the second, and the last race will win. If one of your horses you pick does not win, you lose your pick bet. The exception is to pick six. If no one picks all six winners, everyone that picked five winners will split the pool or all the money that's been bet. Exacta, sometimes called perfecta, is a bet where you must pick the first and second place horse of a race in the correct order. That's the key, it in the correct order. What you want to say when you go up to the window is race four, ten dollar exact to horse one and two. If your two horses come in first and second but not in the correct order you chose, you lose. There's often more than one exacta race in the day. The Quinella. This is a bet where you pick the first and second horses of a race, but they don't have to be in the correct order you picked them. What you want to say when you go up to the window is, race four, $10 Quinella, horse one and two. Your horses need only come in first and second, or second and first. You don't have to be in the exact order they finished in. 
Trifecta. This is a bet where you must pick first, second, and third place horse of a race in the correct order. That's the key here, in the correct order. To bet that trifecta, when you go up to the window, you want to say, race four, $10 trifecta, horse one, two, three. Now, your horses need to come in exactly in that order to win, one, two, and three. Any of them out of order, and you lose. Twin trifecta. Boy, this is a tough one here. You have to pick the first, second, and third place horse of two different races in the correct order. To bet that, you want to say race four, $10 twin trifecta, horse one, two, three, and horse one, two, three. Your horses need to come in in the correct order to win. If you win the first race, go back to the window to collect your winnings and get your second ticket. The clerk can tell you what the odds are for the second race at that point. Superfecta. This is a bet where you have to pick the first, second, third, and fourth place horse in a race in the correct order. You see, these are kind of tough. They have to be in the correct order. What you want to say when you go up to the window is race four, $10 superfecta, horse one, two, three, four. Remember, your horses need to come in the correct order to win this one. There are some strategies for making these exotic bets, boxing and wheeling, and I'll show you how those work. Boxing. If you're betting some of the exotic bets like exactas or trifectas, and you sh you're pretty sure the top three horses, which will win second like that, you can box the three horses. This way you get a win ticket with one and the second one and eight one. Example, you think two, five, and eight will come in first, second, third, but you don't know the exact order how they'll finish. Tell the, to the window you want to box two, five, eight. You'll get a ticket with two, five, eight, two, eight, five, five, two, eight, five, eight, two, like that. You'll get a ticket with two is winning with each other horse like that, and you'll get all combinations. It cost you a lot more money, but at least you're sure you might win some. Wheeling a bet. This is a race where you're pretty sure which horse is going to win, but you're kind of not sure which one's going to come in second, but you think it could be one of these three horses here. What you want to do is you want to wheel the bet. You go up to the window and say, race five, $10 exacta, four with two, five, six. This way you'll get a ticket with four as the winner, and two, five, and six as second. So you get tickets on each of them. So if four wins and two, five, or six comes in second, you'll win that exacta bet. Well, now you know how to make the bets and what all the different kinds of bets are. At this point, you just need to pick a horse that can win. Get when you're at the track, pick up one of the tote sheets they sell at the front gate. They'll pretty much give you good winners. This CD is for sale in my website and in my eBay store. The links to both are in the description below. Just click on them. Okay, good luck and hope you have a lot of fun. Thank you.